السلام عليكم الجنس اهلا وسهلا بكم تيور تكنجا محمد اونر اكس 10 اف ذا ابديت جيمنج ريفيو وي غانا هاف هير سبيشال فيديو اباوت ذا باب جي ان 2 كي ريزولوشن يوزنج ذا جي اف اكس تول اتش دي ار اكس تيم اف از ماكس اي دان ذا سيم تيست وذ ذا اوذر فلاج شيب سمارت فونز اند ميد رينج سمارت فونز وي غانا دو ات اولسو وذ ذس ون باي ذا واي اف يو ار وندرينج هاو ام يوزنج ا جي اف اكس تول ان جاس يو كانت ران ذس جيم ان 2 كي اون ذا ديفولت سيتنجز سو كي سي باي سيلف هير ام رانينج ات 2 كي ريزولوشن اتش دي ار جرافيكس اكس 60 اف بي اس مود the extreme everything is at ultra there you go you can see myself right running a uh, latest PUBG version yeah anyway so let's go immediately uh, start the game classic mode okay just we are in the game <coughs> PUBG, everything is max like you see by stuff. I'm gonna just put a little bit brightness at 1.7. Beautiful. Man, that's that's absolutely insane. This beast, this uh, tri uh, under, uh, underdog, completely underestimated, underrated uh, smartphone, underrated chipset. Uh, not so many YouTubers are even promoting the Kirin 820. I think everybody give up on Huawei devices and Huawei's uh, chipsets, but this one Ninjas, it's everybody's talking about the Snapdragon 768 or Dimensity 820 and it's uh, the Kirin 820 is not trending. I can even see by my videos it didn't, it didn't get a lot of views. Unfortunately, I'm really sad about that because uh, I'm telling you that uh, it has a better, uh, better sustained performance and it heats less than the Dimensity 820 this and it is faster than the Snapdragon 765. Yeah, Snapdragon 765, yeah. Didn't yes, uh, I didn't yet test the Snapdragon 768, but it should be around maybe 10-15% faster than Snapdragon 765, isn't it? Something like that. Anyway. Beautiful. Just check the smoothness, bro. This is 2K resolution, bro. Are you ninjas aware of this? I'm running PUBG on 2K resolution with a mid-range chipset. This is not a flagship chipset. This is the first time I'm even seeing this kind of performance on a mid-range chipset. So mid-range chipsets are coming super, super close to the flagship. Or we can just simply say that PUBG is any, not any more heavy as it was two years ago uh, with the limitations of the chipsets. If I can call it like that. Woohoo! Whoa, nice! Check the smoothness, bro, on, on, while driving. <laughs> it's a 2K resolution. <laughs> it's a beast. It is a beast. You're gonna make a mistake if you don't choose this device for gaming purposes. For gaming purposes, uh, for the camera purpose also. Battery uh, is amazing. It's better than the Redmi 10X. In the camera department, in the battery department, in the heating department, in the gaming department also. Again, don't say that in the gaming department it's not that big difference. It's just uh, it, even in some cases Redmi 10X is better. Uh, but remember that the Redmi 10X has a MediaTek uh, chipset, and we know that most of the games are not uh, optimized for MediaTek chipsets. We know this. We probably know you know this, and not just that. Is it that this device has a better sustained performance? Uh, it throttles less, so the CPU throttling is just amazing with this device. It's minimum to the min minimum. PUBG 2K test on our X10. Check this out. I'm gonna also do PUBG on the Dimensity 1000 Plus in the same video. Probably. Wow. Assalamu alaikum just welcome back. Tau City, Tau City, unknown origins on the Kirin 820 with the Honor 
uh, X10 Ninja. So you'll have the buying links in the description. We're gonna test this game. Of course, like we tested it with the previous uh, mid-range and uh, the flagship smartphones on Max Ultra Graphics Ninjas. So stick around. We're gonna test this game to see how it runs with the Kirin uh, chipset. Uh, anyway, let's begin. I'm gonna try to use the gamepad. I don't know, uh, can I even use a gamepad with this one, but we will try to use it. Uh, we can use the randomized. Let's go with this one. Let's begin. Okay, Ninjas, we are in the game. Unbelievable, but this game also has a gamepad support. <laughs> Testing it with the gamepad Epic on PG 9099. Beautiful. Nice. Oh my god, this game looks crazy. Uh, let's go to pause, check the options, graphics. You see myself, everything is at Ultra Ninjas. This is very impressive. This game uh, runs really good here for the Ultra graphics here. Wow. What amazing graphics, what amazing graphics. You have to uh, agree there. Let me just take a screenshot. Anyway, let's go. We're gonna go immediately back here. I, I didn't even know this is the first time I'm testing this game with the gamepad. Check these lighting effects. Oh my god, amazing. Oh, I can even run. Oh my god, how? You can't even run without the gamepad. I don't even know how to run without the gamepad. This is very, very impressive. Check these graphics, bro. Oh my god. Finally, some game that we can benchmark smartphones with. It has also... Check this out here. It's running 60 FPS here, bro. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> it killed me, respawn. Oh my god, I'm response from here. Come on, really, bro? Very impressive here. Obviously, it's not running constantly 60 FPS, but this is very impressive for the Honor X10. Ninjas, this is a great, great smartphone. Uh, uh, overall, if you don't, if you uh, can, if you can live without the Google Play services, I advise you. Wait a minute. Uh, if you don't need Google services, uh, then buy Honor X10 instead of the Redmi 10X. I mean, this is my e easy, easy suggestion. I don't, I, I didn't even think twice, bro, when I say this. Okay, this is Bullet Force on Max Graphics with the Honor X10, Kirin 820. Let's go. Thanks. Very smooth. Of course, Kirin 820 is a beast for this game. You can play it with this frame rate at max graphics. Great frame rate. Another kill.
skill assistance. That will kill me. Okay, Call of Duty Mobile. You can just, this is interesting. Uh, we have max, we have max frame rate, uh, but graphics quality is at high. And again with the kit in 820. Redmi 10X, which is really interesting. <laughs> medium graphics, it's not even high, it's medium graphics with the Redmi 10X, even with the after updates, but we will see uh, after in two weeks, they're gonna have major update of the Call of Duty, uh, and we'll see what's gonna happen. Uh, for the Redmi 10X and also for the Honor X10, we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna see with the new update of the Call of Duty. Stay tuned. Okay, let's go. Let's go. There's a mini uh, gun, so I'm super fast with it. Abilities, abilities. Slow? <laughs> it's not slow. I'm slow. Nice help. Nice. Nice. Perfect placement for the sentry here. Kill me. Sentry gun kill. Let's use the. Okay, I missed it. Nice. Enemy contact. Check this out now. Ah, I'm slow, I'm slow with this machine gun, but not bad, not bad. Nice. Be close like that. <laughs> ah, he saw me. How did he saw me, bro? Anyway, ninjas, you get the point here. Call of Duty. Let's check the temperatures. Great temperatures. Honestly, this is great, great temperatures with the Honor X10. It doesn't overheat with Call of Duty. It doesn't even heat up that much. Perfect. I hope you enjoyed in this gaming review after the updates. The bike links will be in the description. Perfect. Asalaam. Okay, just playing games on Honor X10 after the updates. 
highly recommend this beast uh, this is the Kirin 820 Honor X10 it just has amazing uh, basically amazing screen here 90 Hz uh, and it's uh, basically like you see by itself vessel-less it doesn't have a uh, water drop notch uh, yeah notch uh, basically how does called uh, yeah hole punch also all hole punch notch whatever they call it it has a pop-up camera that's why it looks just amazing bro check this out this is arc survival evolved on max graphics epic mode so it's running really good this is after the updates it does have small glitches where i noticed that it has with the kitten and the and the uh, MediaTek chipsets this new update the here sometimes it moves and sometimes the body flickers i think you can notice that Again, uh, I don't know, uh, this is not that kind of my game, type of my game, I wouldn't play it, but it's uh, it's a really heavy game for the benchmark test and for bat battery test example. Just a one minute gameplay of it and that's it, we're gonna move next. You will have the buying links in the description to buy this mid-range beast, uh, highly highly recommended ninjas. Very underdog, this is an underdog smartphone. Here goes. Vivo IQ Z1. What the? What is this, man? What is this? Can just welcome back. Assalamu alaikum. Free Fire on Honor X10. So we will be testing max graphics, like we see by self, high FPS, shadow on, and high resolution plus ultra graphics. Yeah, let's go. We are in the plane. Free fire. Find the first house. Oh, we have even a bike there. Perfect. Let's just find a weapon inside. Nice. Should be enough. This should be enough for now. Let's get into this awesome bike. Whoa. What a kill, what a kill. Let's take my bike back. This is great combination. It's pretty smooth, bro. With the, with the driving, it's so so fast. Oh my god, now I'm a little bit slowed down with this weapon. How far it can go. 130 kilometers per hour 132 oh, 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 oh. What a kill bro, what a kill